In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can capture DV tapes on a Windows machine. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Tech That Doesn't Bite. Do you have some old DV tapes that you would like to transfer over to your Windows machine? Well, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can do that. So check out this tutorial. The very first thing you're going to do is, is to acquire the necessary adapters and firewire cables. Now, if you're using a laptop, you want to make sure that your laptop has USB-C slash Thunderbolt 3 support. Now, technically you should be able to use the Apple Thunderbolt 3 adapter to the Apple Thunderbolt Firewire adapter. Uh, Scott Schramm has a great video showing you that you can actually use those adapters on a Windows laptop that has USB-C slash Thunderbolt 3 support. I'm gonna leave a link in the description so you can check out that video. Now, if you're using a desktop, you can actually buy a Firewire card. I'll leave links in the description as well. Once you get one of those Firewire cards, you can just install it on your computer. And you're also going to need a nine pin to four pin Firewire cable. Next up is installing the Firewire driver on your Windows 10 machine. So the next thing we're gonna to need to do is install the 1394 Firewire driver for a Windows 10 machine. Because Windows 10 does not have a built-in Firewire driver. So we're gonna to have to download it and install it. Now I found a great article from Studio One Productions and it gives you a walkthrough of how to install the drivers. If you wanna check out that article, I'll have a link in the description, but I'm just gonna give you a quick walkthrough of how I installed it on my computer. So first thing is to download the driver, the .msi file onto your computer and just go ahead and launch it and I'll install it. But it doesn't necessarily install the drivers, it's gonna put the folder into your C drive. So I'm gonna to go to my computer Go to my C drive, go to program files, x86, and you're going to see the 1394 OHCI compliant host controller legacy folder. I'm going to open that and I'm going to click on x64 driver. And this is the INF file. And all you do is you just right click on it and click on install. Now it's going to say that the operation is completed. And next thing we're going to do is we're just going to close out the windows hit the Windows R key and we're going to type in dev mgmt.msc we we'll open up device manager and we're going to look for IEEE 1394 host controllers now if this part does not appear after you install the INF file just go ahead reboot your computer that's exactly what I did as well I rebooted the computer and this IEEE 1394 host controller does appear on device manager so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna right click and update driver. Now, I already updated the driver. You might at first see like LSI 1394 driver. So that's what you'll see first. If you do see that, you're gonna follow this procedure right here. So I'm just gonna click on update driver. I'm gonna click on browse my computer for drivers. Now also select, let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. And you want to select 1394 OHCI compliant host controller legacy and click on next. And after that, it's going to install that driver. After you've got the firewire driver installed, go ahead, plug in your camcorder via firewire and turn on your camcorder in the VCR mode. So I'm gonna double check as well. Right now I have the camcorder plugged in to my computer via firewire. And I'm gonna to check to make sure that it's there. So it says eject IEEE 1394 controller. So the camcorder is already plugged in and it's detected. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna find a software that will allow us to capture these DV footage and save it onto our computer. Before we get into that, I wanna throw out a question for you. What other methods do you use on a Windows computer to capture those DV tapes? Do you think Microsoft should have kept Firewire support? Let me know in the comments below. And if you do find this video helpful, please make sure to smash that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. So let's get on to the next part of the tutorial. So the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna find a software that works with your camcorder. Now, one of the software that I saw that was recommended was using HDV Split. But unfortunately, when I launch HDV Split, it does not recognize my camcorder. 
So one of the software that I did use that actually works for my camcorder was virtual dub. So we're going to open up virtual dub. And again, I'm going to post the links in the description and we're going to open up virtual dub. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to file capture AVI. And we're going to make sure that our device is selected. So the device is going to be Microsoft DV camera and VCR direct show. And we're also going to make sure that enable audio capture is enabled. And you can also play uh, enable audio playback. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to hit play on my camcorder. And uh, capture the video. Now you can see the no capture file name has been set. So I'm going to click OK. So we're going to set the capture first. Set capture file. And name it anything you like. And it's going to save it as an AVI file. And go ahead, capture video. So now it's going to start capturing the video and saving it directly to your computer. And when you want to stop the capture, you just go ahead, stop capture, or hit the escape key on your keyboard. And I'm also going to stop the playback on my camera. And I'm going to close out virtual dub and we're going to look for that newly captured video and there's the newly captured video so remember that the file is being captured as an avi format so if you want to convert that to different types of format you're going to need a converter so the one software that you can use is handbrake and what it'll basically do is you just put your avi file in here and it could convert it into a mp4 format and the file extension will be a m4v so if you're going to use this on a ios device or anything that could play mp4 files then handbrake will be able to convert that avi file to the proper format so that is just one method on capturing dv tapes on a windows machine if you want to learn how to capture vhs using obs studios on a windows machine check out one of the end cards at the very end of this video and I'll also leave a link in the description. I'll see you next time.